G'day guys, it's the second time we've had this coach in here. We've already done a nice 1000 watt solar upgrade and he's actually back again for a lithium conversion. So I'll head over to Jason and we'll take a look at what we've done. Okay, Jason, give us a bit of a rundown, mate. Where, where to start? For starters, we had our battery cabinet here where we had 12 six volt batteries mm -hmm. connected in series to get 24 volt for the system. Um, we had to remove all those batteries because we've put in our Sherthy lithium uh, 24 volt 300s. Nice. Started with one, now he's opted for two. So we've taken them out of the battery cabinet and put them here and... Yeah, I figure they would, no space in there for those big batteries, I'd say. No, these ones are a bit long and skinny, um, but I think it's worked out well having them here and we've had to mount the 5,000 watt 24 volt inverter on the side. It's ended up pretty well. Yeah, no, it's got it all in one section there. He's actually probably gained some space, if anything. He has. He did have his generator in here. He had a 4,000 watt generator and he won't be needing that anymore. So <laughs> not only have we taken it out of here, but he could probably take it off the bus mm -hmm. and that's freed up some storage in there and made this the whole heart and soul electrical cabinet. Yeah, awesome. So I guess going in there you would have, yep, so you've made up a plate to mount those batteries on. Um, obviously a board for the inverter. Yeah, there's a bit of weight in the batteries, especially having two of them. And so we've put an aluminium plate in here and we've had to put an aluminium plate on the back with some of our blackboard to mount the inverter on sideways. Mm -hmm. And we've got a bit of our blackboard here that we've put the uh, Lynx distributor and two 12 volt fuse blocks and also our 24 to 12 volt converter to yeah. run nice. all these lights and toilets and everything. So obviously the reason the customer's opted for 24 volt being such a large power system, this would be nearly 1,200 amp hour. No, not nearly, it would be 1,200 amp hour if it was a 12 volt system. And obviously being a 5 kVA inverter, even with this as it is, Jason's actually ran 95 millimeter squared cable being a 24 volt system. You would obviously need double that if it was a 12 volt system. So being 24 volt just makes it a lot more manageable when you're working on these really large power systems. And it's obviously married up with a solar system. How much, much solar is on it, mate? Yeah, so we put a thousand watts of solar on it mm -hmm. and that's going through one of our Victron smart solar controllers, a 15060. So that goes straight into the 24 volt bank as well. Um, and also with his charging, he's added two uh, 24 to 24 volt DC chargers. So oh, nice. when his engine's running and the revs are up high enough, he will get charge from his engine alternator straight into his lithiums. Sounds like he's got all his bases covered. And uh, obviously Jason here has done the, the AC side of things as well. So obviously when you run a 5 kVA inverter, unlike your typical 3000 watt inverters, most vans obviously have a 16 amp circuit where you can run just a one, one circuit pretty much off your inlet. When you have a 5000 watt inverter, you're doing yourself an injustice by only running one circuit because of course 5000 watts can run just more than one circuit. Um, so Jason, give us a bit of a rundown on, on all the AC stuff that's had to be done here. Yeah, so we had an interesting setup. He had two sort of shore power inlets here, the 10 amp ones, um, and then he had two 15 amp generator inlets. Mm -hmm. So I have blanked them off and just cut it back to one 15 amp inlet that goes straight into the Victron inverter charger through a, a safety switch, and then out of the inverter charger, it'll go back up to his subboard, which I had to rewire as well, just to make it all simpler and easier for yeah. the customer. Awesome, so instead of having multiple leads from multiple power points or his generator, two leads from his generator, he just plugged into that one point every time, whether it's a generator or mains or whatever. And one of the sweet things about these Victron MultiPluses too is obviously their power assist function. So yeah, Jason's run heavy enough cable and, and everything's size large enough, of course, to take mains power and then also have that MultiPluses 5,000 watts added in addition to that. So that the customer's usable amount of power is actually over 5,000 watts because it's mains plus what the inverter's capable of. It's a Victron specific feature. And I gotta say, it's really, really cool. That's for sure. Yeah, especially with these bigger trucks that are running aircon as well. They wanna run aircon and they've got all the other appliances as well. So That's it. with the power boost, we can um, provide that for them. That's it, they can run the aircon plus then also have their coffee machine or, or their microwave going at the same time. This customer can just turn it all on and doesn't have to think about any of that. Yeah, no worries at all. I think the customer's gonna be pretty happy with his 24 volt, 600 amp hours of battery. He can get rid of that, uh, that smelly generator once and for all and spend a bit more time off grid. With the Victron gear being as modular as it is, even if you have a really small setup or a big setup like this one, uh, Victron pretty much allows us to do any system you guys need. So regardless of the size of your vehicle and what system you're after, we can design, make and install something to suit your needs. So give us a call at Solar and Sat and we'll be happy to help you out. <laughs>